it in the family. But we're talking mezcal, which is a uh, mezcal is a is a Mexican liquor. Well, comes from Oaxaca, and it's it's a tequila is a type of mezcal. A mezcal is a real mezcal is much more smoky. What they do is they take the the agave and they bury it, bury it in the dirt and they 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 basically smoke it before they distill it like how drinks are born are really interesting for me like it's kind of like the port. scotch you know of port, tequila you, know you would know what a scotch is port. Right. yeah there's a there's port. Port. port yes but it's not yeah. smoke port isn't smoke there's either. a whole fucking thing that like you're go, you're missing shit. though i get it i and i'm, I'm very interested in, no no I'm, I'm, I'm interested in what you're saying but i'm interested in the the discovery of drinks like you're saying mm -hmm. that Tequila might have something to do with how mezcal was started. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. So, like, it's the same with port. Port was, um, as I hear it, and it might be fucking false, but port was, um, there was a ship that was traveling to Portugal. And then in, inside the ship, they had barrels of brandy and barrels of rum. I'm not sure what... It's what it makes together. Isn't port fortified wine, or am I just making it? So, wine, so yeah. yes, they had wine and fortified. But why is it called yeah. port? Yeah. Is it so here, port be, because port should go? Because they had a ship who was traveling to Portugal, and they had wine on ship, and they also had fucking um, brandy. This ship had an accident where all the things smashed together and they try to save as much of it as they could. And they had the wine mixing with the brandy and they were like, oh, this is great, let's call it port, which is what? short for Portugal. <laughs> yes. And that's how, they were sorry. like, that's how Portugal, because before that's they how, that's died, port all port. they can get was port. Yeah. And they died, and this port was the well, only guy, and they all fell in the ocean. And they tried and they to died. say, oh, we're in port. <laughs> but port was the only thing that came now. out of their mouth. Yeah. If that's the case, then that's fun. I love because it. Because amazing. That's a great, I don't know how true it is, but that's I a don't great know. No, he's not know, saying that. Do you know, that. wait, do you guys know the story of how gin and tonics Where's came to be? Secret? No, how So that? gin and tonics, gin and tonics date back to, I don't know what war was. I think maybe it was World War One. And um, the soldiers in the British Army were uh, prescribed like a daily dose of quinine, which I don't know if you know what quinine yes, is. Quinine, quinine, that's whatever. tonic. That's what they get. Yeah, tonic. it's what they make. Yep. It's horribly, yep. horribly bitter, but it's really it good for you. It comes from a root, I think. It's I'm like not sure really what it comes bitter from. It's bitter fucking as, root. It's bitter as yeah. fuck, but it's a really, it's really a great antiseptic. It's a root in the ground, yeah. I and don't so, know, yeah. And so they fucking, <clears throat> the whole soldiers came to hate this daily dose of quinine that they had to take, and then they, they were like, let's they dress put it up some with some gin in it. So they knocked some gin into it, <laughs> and they were like, <laughs> this right makes it drinkable. Like, I love it. Yeah, and, and so the gin and tonic was born. <laughs> so one of my, one of my favorite things that. to think about it's is so how bad. things ha had, had started. Like, one of the most expensive coffees in the world is what I could only describe as cat shit coffee. Cat because, shit coffee? Yeah, because it comes direct from a cat's... So, there, there's this I can't tell you what coffee no, no, tastes wait, like. Wait, wait, are you, you saying that people have turned cat shit into coffee? Is that do what you're you trying to say? Do you not know about cat shit coffee? No, I do not. That's not what please is classified as. <laughs> if you're listening to this and you know the name of it, please fucking tell me. I don't fucking know what it is. But there is a place in the world. We'll hear it, I'm sure. That cats eat coffee beans and then shit out the fucking produce. And then people take that and make the most expensive coffee in the world. And this is what it is. It's it's coffee that has been passed through cats. And y'all could look at me like this. You could do that funny face. You could be like, mm, inquisitive. But inquisitive. what it is, is, is uh, fucking true. Like the most expensive cat coffee. Have you had it? Coffee. Have you had it? I have not. But I have. Then don't not talk had the to me until you've it. had it. I've not had the money to have it. Doesn't Wait, you mean need it doesn't to have money. Buy, I will buy it for you, and when you drink it, then you but can talk about it. My favorite thing about you're this not going to you're not going to drink cat shit coffee. Is this? <laughs> I know it. How jonesing do you have to be? <laughs> To exactly. drink coffee, they just get... So, how Out did this come about? Intestine. My one question day, is... One day, wait a minute, wait a minute, yes. One day, <laughs> know, one please. guy was like, oh, I need a coffee. Oh, shit, the cat say all the coffee beans. Just hold out. We can <laughs> get this. And this, this, this cat, wait a minute, this cat shot the fucking coffee out. And my man's like, oh, okay, fuck it. And he picked through all the cat shit, and he picked out the coffee beans, and he brewed them. And he was like, 
Exactly. That shit's tasty as a motherfucker. You are How fucking lying. This whole story cannot be true. That, that part of the story I have to, is I'm going to Google this. But, but cat shit coffee <laughs> is cat a thing. Shit it's funny it's whether it's true or not. That's that, all I'm that, not. That, that all right, boys, next that, up on the Half House cocktail list, cat shit coffee in a martini me. espresso. And it's expensive as shit, bro. Bring your fucking wallet. No, don't say that. Listen. But listen don't say that because you're, no, that's okay, you're I'm totally fucking... Kidding. That's true. I'm kidding. You're expressive <laughs> fucking martinis are amazing. I don't want to so fuck people martinis up. Martinis do not <laughs> need any cat shit no, in them. No, we do not. We don't do that here. The most expensive coffee Never. in the world comes They're through really a cat. Good. Don't fucking, don't <laughs> dump it. I'm fucking telling you this. I don't lie. When I come, when I, when I fucking get... You're not, oh, no, 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 I get it. Right, I get I'm it. I'm going, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to finish up this conversation by saying I'm going to fact check the fuck out of that. Please do. And also, you would have to pay me, not me pay money. You would have to pay me to drink coffee that has been passed through a cat's but digestive system. If that is true, there is no is way true. in hell. No. That gets me thinking about other shit, like who was the first guy that drank milk from a cow? And, mate, what were you doing? Who was the first person to drink milk for a cow? And that's, that's I mean, what's interesting I mean, it's not really too me. much of a stretch, though, to think about how what that could say, have come to be. I'm really thirsty. I'm just gonna milk this random animal and fucking drink it. That's fucking disgusting. Well, bro. no, think about it. People have been rearing cattle for yonkers, right? Okay, and they before cause, them. Before and they, them. Before and, them. Before. Yeah, I mean, the sure very first know. person who done the thing done was done probably the thing. a they cattle farmer. The, who the thing. But dude, <coughs> but that happens. That you, you can you can make that example a million times exactly. in human that's history. That's my fucking favorite. Not about thing. yeah. That's my Who's the first person decided like, oh, I'm gonna rub a few sticks together? Oh. Oh, this is a fire. Oh. You know, I mean, we do a lot of like things. Super that, intriguing. Who's that's the first why we're to not cavemen or anymore. It's you know, not, those that's things super happen. intriguing. Who's the first person to invent drinking cow milk? That's it's good. Cow milk is good. But why is it good? Because it's instilled in us in that that, that moment. That moment. That guy was I like, agree. "Hey, man, we should keep I'm doing really it." Really thirsty. We should keep we drinking milk. No water in a cow. Yeah, oh, really? there's a oh, lot of examples of that. Like, I just like sucking on whatever. Tits. Cow tits. <laughs> cow moment, tits. He was like, cow tits all day. Dude, like, there's, what the fuck? there's like a fucking uh, like a restaurant right around the corner. Actually, it's right over there. It's called T I T I Z. Titties. Titties. Titties beef. I took. I'm like, oh Jesus. And I and I. So I sent it to my buddy. I took a picture of it and sent to him. And he was like, I bet that place sucks. <laughs> I'm like, yep, you got my point. Anyway. I mean, there are some pretty hilarious names out there. Only recently, that was like an a Arabic very unfortunate thing, village in Austria called Fucking has just recently changed its name they to did? anything other than Fucking. They're a bunch of fucking what? wankers. They should have changed that fucking that name. The actual other. name. <laughs> fucking. They should have I mean, it's pretty it. funny because if you're from there and someone asks you where you're from, you can I'm literally from say, I'm from Fucking. Fucking Austria. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking Austria. Yeah, but we are like, but they, they attracted far too much of the wrong kind of tourism over the years that they finally changed their name officially because they just did no. not want any dumb ass. No. I'm going to go ahead and say American tourists, but it was probably I might be a lefty. equally Brits as well. Yeah. <laughs> who just well, had to go and take pictures and I'm then just liberal, say the word fucking fuck everywhere that, they went. Man. You should let that place keep its name. Fucking I mean, no one, Austria. no one told them to change it. The local villagers decided that they just were sick of being called fucking, fucking. Austria. <laughs> yeah. You're fucking. No, we're all, fu well, we're all, we're all Are fucking. you fucking? Yeah, I'm we fucking. Are, we, are all, we, are, we all like <laughs> to be fucking in Austria. You want to be fucking? Oh, God. <clears throat> I want to go there is, before. This Did is they change the it yet? Baths and the we should go. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fucking cult I house. love it. I mean, that would bring more tourism. I totally Come would. It totally I'm would, not but going I guess there's the ever. wrong kind of tourism. I'm never going there now they want strictly <laughs> because they changed their name. Well, see, if they, they had been called it. fucking, I would go there every day and fucking in all the things that they do there. Imagine you had a child in that safe for some random reason. You'd be like, 
Your name is fucking. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. You are born in fucking, you will always be fucking. What's your you name? will yeah. die you fucking. You will always be from <laughs> fucking, <laughs> and you're gonna fuck fucking and be bear. fucking. And, yeah. What's your, what's your <laughs> first name? <laughs> fucking bad. They should have used it. They didn't. They just pushed out. <laughs> what are they called now? I don't know. Well, I we lost should interest. figure that out. I lost yeah. interest when I found so out they were no, no longer else. called fucking. No one will ever go there again. Nope. And they're gonna be a miserable fucking. Town. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> so, fuck, those, still, fuck still, those people. I still hope they keep their town hall called the fucking town hall. Yeah, the fucking <laughs> town hall. The fucking, the fucking yeah. library. Yeah. The only thing left that's called fucking will be the town hall, I hope. Because everyone else is a or fucking the public idiot. Toilet. Yeah, how's the fucking toilets? <laughs> you want to go somewhere to relieve yourself? Go to no. the fucking toilet. No. <laughs> Fuck all those fucking people. <laughs> I'm not doing There's it. a lot of unfortunate names of towns and cities and villages in the UK as well. Well, like There's I showed all you, kinds the of crazy cities, ones. Like, it's it's like, like not a town, but it's like so many. I mean, I, I thought I thought the joke stopped at sandwich, but oh, it gets so much better than that. Well, when you're English and you speak another language, and somebody else's language actually makes a funny in your language, then you can, you know. Oh, yeah. They make a funny. Yeah, they make, they a, make funny. a funny. <laughs> and they make a funny. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a hell of a lot worse when, when the, you guys? the villages are actually named <laughs> in the language in which they are funny. Oh, Kenny Berg. I made a funny. Love this guy. That's <laughs> 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 something I would say if I'm just a little wasted. <laughs> I made a funny. You made it funny. That's what we say. I, I need to. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you need another drink there, Kenny. You're almost halfway done. What the fuck has to be <laughs> That's too little for you, though, isn't it? took me a half a minute to shot, f- shot, f- figure that out. He says, challengingly. Well, if there's a time and a place for shots, it's got to be on a Saturday evening, am I right? If I'm going to ask anybody, I'm going to definitely ask. It is on a Saturday the evening. Runs the place. Uh, hey. Why? Because you think you can get him for free? No. It's all gone. At least half off. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get half off anyway, you motherfucker. Don't tell everybody, they don't know that. If you come and work at Hoff House, you get a staff discount. Here's Holy a little tip for shit. you. <laughs> no wonder they all are party Listen. animals here. I love them all. This is the best. I mean, I honestly, I'm, not, I'm I'm going to be give honest talk here. Ooh, Since I came here, I know, I know. I'm going to get my little creepy voice <laughs> going here. Do you need background music or I can just like jump? Can you? Can you? No, no, you can't. That's right. I don't need background. Sexy music. I got background voice. I don't need music. You want to tell me something sexy? But this makes me feel like home since I've, you know, left Atlanta. We've had a lot of cool bars with friends and what we call locals. People that go to the bar, you like the people you see every day. You build relationships with them, and it's like amazing. This is the place that reminds me of that, and I'm only saying that because that's really what happens. Not about as, like, a, as a guy who just frequents this bar and does as much as he can to hear that. That's amazing. Yeah, as but I just got here. Runs this place. That must that be amazing, amazing to hear. That's the music to your ears. No, it it's is the music that we've been missing for so long. And the cool <laughs> thing is, is like Dave from Alabama is actually been to the bar that I imagine this place from. He knows the North Highland pub in Atlanta. He was in Little F- We We had this conversation. I'm like, but I was from the North Highland pub when I said it. He was like, wait, I think I've been I'm like, no, nah, probably. And he's like, well, yeah, I was in. I'm like, yeah, you. and we were talking about the wings because I had the wings here. I mean, yeah, it, it all made sense. I was like, yes. There's no doubt that you've been to the same place that I was. As a fucking bar you cannot be happier with that as a random statement. From no, a random but I mean, you know people that know what to do. Be happier than that, yes. Because what you want is good draft beer, good you bar see food. The smile. You see the smile. But it, you don't go to a place like this for fancy food. You just want really good bar food. Really good bar food. 
and this does that. And, and drove the beer is good and drove. Like, I, I keep get, I know this place inside the fucking out. Yeah. Today I got surprised again with the fucking food. It's it annoys me because I don't know the food. I'm sitting munching on fucking uh, the best nachos I ever did have, and then fucking Anna Anna comes out with like fries with. We gotta get you to the United States. That's the problem. I know you haven't been there, but you gotta oh, come. Yeah, you really get you get you there, you'll know. Like no one else. I just yeah. lost a bunch of weight through all the work I'm doing. Do yeah. Think I want to go to the States. You now? lost weight since I saw you about four right, hours. Guys, check out for a minute. <laughs> You've been working your ass off. Hundred <laughs> percent. It's fucking. Here's the thing, though. Like this place has been. Not just this place, Budapest in itself has been yeah. so good to me. Run like for, for no reason, it's been really good to me. It's an amazing place, and it's one of those things I've noticed that people come here and they don't leave. It's kind of like an addiction, like you said. Like one one person, James. Hey, James, if you're listening, he's a. Uh, he just had a child in London, so I know that guy's not coming back for a while. But when I met him first, he was tripping on mushrooms, playing a, a piano at the end of my concert in the back room to himself. And I'm like, why are you playing the piano? He's like, because it's fucking nice, bro. And I'm like, I, I couldn't get my head around how enamored he was with the city. Because this was my first week. And then we had a chat two weeks later because we randomly bump, bumped into each other in another gig. Because before I came here, I wasn't a builder, like you say. I, yeah, yeah. I was a musician. I am still a musician. You are still. And he, of course he, he you was are. like, Kenny, this is my playground. I go to Austria, all over Europe to teach English, but this is where I do not teach anything. This is where I play. And right now, Nobody's able to play, man. Nobody's Why can't you keep to, doing that? Nobody's able to be. But when you go home at night, like, we talked a little bit about your, let's let's talk about that, a little bit about your music, you know, because career. It's, it's on hiatus. Are, and I don't know you in that way, but why is it, like, are you an instrument player? Are you a vocalist? Like, what is your thing? Both. Both. Guitar and vocals. Crazy good vocals. So you don't have a guitar? Yeah, I got three of the coolest guitars Great. ever. Great. So when you go home at night, why don't you just fucking jam no, busy, in your man. fucking I'm apartment? I'm busy doing other things, man. Like, that, that shit does So not when you get home, you have you have the opportunity to when you get home at night, but you're just like, fuck, man, I gotta so, go to bed, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do all these I, other I, things. in the most romantic way I could ever put it to anybody? Yeah. When was the last time you seen your best friend? No, but your best friend that you grew up with, your best friend. I know what friend. you mean. I know what you so mean. So I'm asking you a question yeah. right now, and give me an answer. When was the last time you seen your best friend? Well, I don't have a lot of best friends. My that best friends rotate over years. I mean, if you want to ask yeah, me this true. right now, I'll say probably four hours ago. Where are you from? New York. In New York, you have a friend that you would call your best friend, right? Yes. I, no, 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 no. He, I know where he's fucking, going. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Uh, and when you bump into him, no, when you bump into him or her, years ago, thirty years ago, thirty when you years bump ago, into 30, him or her, yeah. is it normal? Uh, it's. No, I mean, it's for me when I bump into my my best friends that I haven't spoke to in fucking a year, two years. It feels like after two hours of speaking them, I haven't ever left them. For me, music's the same. When I get a chance to sit down and conversate with music again... But do you not go back after a fucking hard day's labor, which would you do? 18 hours a day does not make you want to pick up a guitar. No, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. It happens when I'm sitting in the house. And I ramble about but if you shit. get a let, let me ask you this if you were to do a 14 or a 12 hour day would you take a couple hours a day I'm just to pick that guitar up for her and make sure yeah? she's okay that's true okay. but my best friend will be there he's always there he's never always living there. She, he, always he or always she there. Yeah. they're always there they're always yeah, yeah. there when I, when I 
you're not sit down, just pick up that guitar and then find a new song and be like, I want to learn that shit. So what is your, what do you, I, you know, I know you asked me to look at it, which I will. But yeah. since that, but since we've been here the whole night, I'm just gonna ask you a little bit about your music. What 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 is your music background? Well, g- give me a little bit of information about that, just so I know. randomly learned the guitar because all my friends randomly learned the guitar. Are you like folk Irish, like Celtic stuff, or do you play like what rock and roll, no, like uh, blue, like give me? I've got that's what I'm saying. Give me some American accent and I sing because that's. I feel like everybody that sings has in English has an American accent. It's amazing. I can sing in in many different dialects, like I could sing in Scottish, but when I sing in Scottish, it's more dark and right. not not progressive or not. Um, it, it makes me say things about. What were your influences? Is your music? Yeah, yeah, I know. 